Hello, folks. It's time for the movie review of Steven Universe, the movie slash the musical. But it's, they dropped the musical and just say movie. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, firstly, first, I got to talk about what they have done, which is every Steven Universe ever, every Steven ever. So they gave us all the episodes in decent sequence. And of course, I missed a few, but crazy. It is freaking crazy how I missed so many episodes. And it's like, how the frick did I miss so many episodes? And it's like, oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, Remember Cartoon Network sucks? It's like, yeah, I forgot. Cartoon Network sucks. Unless it actually is a freaking TV show they love, like Teen Titans Go! You don't actually get to have the episodes you exactly need to see. I remember, like, at least once a week, maybe even twice a week, I saw the same exact episode again. When it's like, they had so many episodes that I didn't see. And to actually get the reveal that, oh yeah, it turns out that lion, the pink lion... Oh, that's a lion that died that was in the care of um, Rose Quartz. And because, yeah, you eventually see an episode that she actually had like five lions with her. And I'm like, oh. So the episode when it came to Lars and then the pink lion and he's like, oh, my gosh, there's so much stuff I need to ask you about and stuff like that. I didn't get the piece together because I didn't see that episode. So, yeah, thanks, Cartoon Network, for being a total bastard. Thanks, Cartoon Network. Like, she whiz, so many episodes I missed. The store, it, and it gets funny where it's like, you see, Nickelodeon, you need to take notes too. It's like, Nickelodeon, Sony, you need to take some notes. Nickelodeon, you need to take notes to actually reveal that, oh, it's not a good idea having a hiatus of Power Rangers and then expect to continue the story when you want, it's like, yeah, you should have already started like, two months ago showing episodes of Power Rangers and making sure everyone knows what's going on so when you start the newest episodes we won't be completely lost but at least you have it on demand of course technically they did have Steven Universe on demand but the thing is that they didn't have it labeled so it's like even if I tried to one it's not labeled number two they most likely are like oh the previous season and then you don't get to have the seasons before and it's like oh my gosh what the freaking hell yeah, so they treat it as bad as Adventure Time. It's like Adventure Time got treated badly too. And that's the messed up part. And uh, oh yeah, don't forget, and regular show got treated badly too. But thank goodness for regular show, I watched it every single time it was on. Adventure Time, they made it hard. Steven Universe, they made it hard. So they kind of treated regular show okay, but it could have been better. And just like with adventure time and steven universe they could have been treated way better to the point of where i actually understand the story instead of knowing bits and pieces and i'm like eh. so anyways all right let's get started so first let's talk about the pre-show <laughs> because they did have a pre-show where they showed over and over clips of people around and stuff and i'm like and then they have a theater ready and then apparently at a q a and i'm like oh so was that in san diego comic-con um, Cartoon Network, you didn't even mention that in San Diego Comic-Con, they actually had an event there. You didn't say crap. Would I have made it? No. But would have other fans made it if they knew that? Yes. But if I didn't know, how in the world would many others would know that, oh, yeah, we need to make it there? And what about the people who live in California and people who are live like very close by? That sucks. Where it's like they could have done it, but they didn't see any reason to do it. But because of Steven Universe, but you didn't tell them. <sighs> what in the world is your problem, Cartoon Network? And at least you did have Toonami say, hey, guys, for those out there, well, you need to know Steven Universe is freaking awesome. And you need to see that movie that's coming out on monday at 6 p.m and it's like that was nice that was nice to an army that was nice of you to do that that was actually nice so we got to see lots of stuff it looks like they actually had a showing of it and they get to have q a with the um creator of it not to mention the creator said that this movie and that's where i'm like oh what the heck Cartoon Network, if you're not planning on putting in movie theaters, why the frick did you actually say this crap of allowing her to speak? No offense, but I'm just saying, the way she spoke, it sounded like she made sure that the movie 
which should have went in the theaters, would have made sure that even if audiences never heard of Steven Universe first before, or it's their first time watching it since it's a movie, they would have went into the theaters and it got all caught up. And sadly for all of us who actually seen Steven Universe, and sadly for everyone who watched every Steven ever, you basically got a rehash in the whole entire freaking damn movie for like at least like one third of the movie was rehashing telling you what happened with Pearl story what happened to Garnet story what happened to um Anifis story but Anifis story though at least we got even more in depth on it something that we didn't for me I didn't see may have, I might have missed it but they never actually showed footage of Anifist actually coming out of her place and what she looked like it's like you would figure she looks like that but doesn't have like she has normal clothes on instead she actually looks like a a dummy or something you know one of those artist renderings that didn't actually get finished yet it's like a prototype that's exactly what she looked like and it's like what the heck man what the heck it's like wow i didn't know that so for those who didn't see the movie hopefully they'll have another showing of it i really hope so but if they don't this shows how sucky cartoon network really is but anyways let's talk about freaking the movie so it's spoilers so if you don't want to see the spoilers let's just say that the movie was good the movie was definitely something you should watch it actually heightened the whole dangerment of everything and the new character oh man a new character new character oh my gosh my favorite character now <laughs> my favorite character now oh and note it was a time jump but they didn't even mention how long the time jump is that's why i said sony you need to be taking notes apparently they know how to actually do a time jump and you do the math that's the that see see sony that's exactly what you should have done allow people to do the math and not do the math for them even though your math sucked and it was wrong all right let's get with the movie so the movie starts with steven universe actually coming back from home world to his home planet and it's kind of funny where they actually want him to stay, want to live in the palace. He's 16 years old now. And if you notice, when we ended the TV show, he was 14 years old. So you do the math. I'm not going to do it for you. I'm not Sony. <laughs> yeah, Sony would say four years later. Oh, you bastards. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you bastards. <laughs> he's like, yeah, Sony created Steve Universe. And they'll be like four years later. And he's 16 years old now. Oh, my gosh, Sony, you suck. You suck. <laughs> it's like you suck. Yeah, so he came back home. He had a big, good everything. And we got to see what happened to all the ones who were once, once um, let's say, tainted. Yeah, they got purified at the end of the, ep the end of the series. And then we find out where to do. So they're actually living on Earth now. They have their own slice of the planet. Kind of like, this is kind of in a way, just like Thor. It's kind of like Thor in a way. You should come home, Thor. It's like, no, no, my place is on Earth with Jane Foster. <laughs> yeah, and then the place got destroyed. Now they have a new Asgard on planet Earth. So it's like, as you can see, it's kind of like Thor. I'm not trying to diss or anything. I'm just saying it's kind of funny that it's kind of like Thor. All right, with all that said, so everything was going good. Then all of a sudden after like some ceiling singing and stuff and not to mention the intro was singing it's kind of like it reminds you of disney and the new character reminds me of disney crazy enough it's like it reminds me of disney and the good news is that i can tolerate it unlike frozen oh my gosh when i actually got to watch frozen for the first time and i had the dvd guess what i did i fast forward all the freaking musical singing Yes, I couldn't take their freaking damn singing. I couldn't take it. Hell no. <laughs> this one, I had to tolerate it, and it's not that bad at all. It was actually pretty decent. The only thing is just that the rehashing was the messed up part. That's all, just rehashing. And the intro, where they actually were singing, all three of the diamonds were singing, it makes sense because, well, do we want all of them talking over each other, saying the same exact thing? No, it makes sense that they're actually singing. 
So with all that said, they came back to Earth. He checked out a lot of stuff. Then after they actually checked up and said, oh, this happy ending, will it will it last forever? And then Anaphist, sorry, not Anaphist. It was uh, Garnet. Garnet tried to look in the future. And of course, she got blocked. Yeah, she couldn't see what happens next. All she saw most likely was her slash. That's all she got to see. She couldn't see further than that and make sense. So basically, guess who comes down? It's the bad guy we saw that's a new gym. It turns out her name is Spinel. I'm trying to fight so hard not to say Spinelli because of Disney and Recess. I'm fighting so hard and I think I'm actually now winning. Her name is Spinel, not Spinelli. Spinel. And if you know Recess, good for you. I'm glad you know exactly what I'm talking about, how you can actually, and hopefully I didn't screw you over. So Spinel actually has a bone to pick with him. So she actually came with a big fat thing that's injector, which sadly to say, and I didn't say it before, but of course I couldn't say it because I didn't make videos like that. So it's really enough that all the things that's injected into the planets, it looks like viruses. If you've seen in science textbooks, that's what viruses look like is those. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, so it's crazy enough that she brings it down, she does her horn thing, and then it's now going into Earth and infecting it. And then she fights them, and well, because they're rusty, she was able to actually knock them out, and then she actually has a scythe, and she took down everyone, and slashed Steven like at least four to five times to actually make his... So basically what happened... Oh yeah, he was able to actually take it and slash her too. So... It was crazy that now they have to try to actually figure out how to bring everyone back and then how to stop this horrible devastation device. So they actually went to um, Bismuth Peridot, and Peridot was my previous favorite somewhat, and Lapis. Lapis. So she goes into them, and then apparently, yes, you have to jog their memories. And then as soon as they, yeah, it was crazy where it's like at first, no, they were at home, and he was with his dad. And then the, the pearl, that was interesting. It's like that's some new development. So every time a pearl's born, it's like a clam. And that's even cool that actually it's like, oh, that's a cool concept. So basically, you have to do voice recognition stuff. And then there you go. And now it's, the diamonds now assigned to you so now <laughs> greg has, has freaking diamond and then we see all the other ones and it's kind of like what previously what we already know was like a little bit of a refresher because well this is for all ages all worlds even if you're not a steven universe fan this actually speeds you up on what they do and then you get spinel we actually find out her name is spinel and she is the best friend so apparently she is the best friend slash playmate of Pink Diamond. And then it's like, well, how in the world did she get from point A to point B? And it's like, well, we actually have to go through down memory lane. So it's amazing that y'all have to try to actually get their, um, get all their memories back. So through all of that, you have, of course, Garnet. She was, oh, sorry, Garnet. Anaphis actually got her memory back first. And it was kind of funny. She was funny. She's funny. It's like, how in the world does Anaphist, all of them do the exact same thing, but sadly, if we look back in the previous one, they weren't like that. So that means that when she was really made, she actually was a little bit different from the others, technically. So, yeah, you didn't think just size she was different, but minds that she was different, too. So she finally got it back, and it was pretty funny. He's like, oh, I did that, too, with the cornhole, but it wasn't me sitting on it it was me and a friend of mine man i wish we could do that again someday but we've grown too distant apart it's sad it's just like this it's just like this one right here except he doesn't have a vendetta and wants to kill me <laughs> so yeah we did that once in Chuck E. cheese and we actually did awesome and we never got caught i would have done it in miami but he wasn't with me and it was just me all alone yeah it it was a sad time there it's like <sighs> All right, let's continue on. I don't want to get sad in this moment. So, yeah, so she actually got her memory back. And then it's kind of funny pulling the prank on um, Greg on Mr. Universe. Then they have to get Pearl. So Pearl, they decided to do a rock. And then we actually get to see a fusion between his dad and himself. So, yeah, that took some energy out of him. But holy frick, 
that fusion. I didn't think we'll ever get that fusion. And it's sad that, yeah, I was hoping that we'll do even more fusions of Lap Lapras is going to get a fusion with Mr with steven and paradise gets a fusion with steven but we'll never get that and it's like okay i can accept that so eventually she actually got to the point of being like oh my gosh there you go i remember but sadly at that point poor poor spinel got her heart starting to get her heart broken and she's just getting distant because well it turns out the only way to actually stop the machine is to give her the memory back and i was like oh no no and someone definitely needed to give spinel a hug like holy frick how this whole entire movie and you didn't even give her a hug just once that's messed the frick up i mean just look through the whole entire movie she never actually got a hug at all and it's like wow <laughs> It's like, wow. So Spinel basically ran and went to teleport herself because of the garden. And then as as they went to the house and then they teleported to the garden. We saw the garden. We saw how dilapidated it is. And then we find out the real truth is that Pink Diamond, a.k.a. Rose Quartz, was a jerk bag. I'm sorry, but it's like she did some messed up stuff. And looking at her on, I'm like, she was messed up, but personally, I didn't think she was that messed up. Now, on the other hand, what she did to her friend here, get to Spinel, that kind of actually screws over her character a little bit. Being like, what the fuck? Really? It's like, you're all alone and everything. And it's like, yeah, but you have Spinel over there. Spinel was there for you. So it's weird that at all these times, you don't have Spinel. You don't even think about, oh, Spinel is fun to be with. Spinel would actually be a good companion or anything. Like, no, no, that never happened. I'm like, what the hell? Not to mention, where's Pearl? It's like, Pearl was never actually there if you saw in the flashbacks. And it's like, where was she in this whole entire mess? It's like, yeah, so she did not know. She actually had, he had, Stephen had to actually hear from Spinel herself exactly all the stuff that happened. It's like, I thought, pearls never leave their diamonds what the fuck is this <laughs> not to mention when she's uh, you know because apparently they locked her up all the time it's weirdly enough it's messed up that pearl since pearl technically doesn't really follow the rules it's weird that pearl didn't even get to be in there with her in the dungeon or even better she actually was able to teleport um spinel into the dungeon so at least she has company it's like come on what the heck is this I'm just like, yeah, it's time to poke some holes. And it's like, what the frick? Yeah, sorry about poking holes. So we actually find it out. And then she actually, now the messed up kicker is that she made Spinel stand there because it's a brand new game. It's called Just Stand There. And she left her there for 6,000 years. 6,000 years? I mean, what the frick? You forgot everything. It's like, why won't you? And I know, I know, I know. Spinel is not a fighter. But, well, as you can see in this, is that Spinel actually can fight, though. Spinel can actually change her mind to go from silly to actually serious. And you never actually got her a chance to be a part of the Crystal Gems. And technically, I didn't even see the fact of where you're, like, actually okay with her. Because I'm pretty sure you're fine actually losing her for some reason. Because that's messed up. It's like, yeah, you saw from her looks went from happy to somewhat to kind of like, yeah. And that's messed up. And sadly, this is a freaking lesson from everything. It's like, you see what happens when you actually leave a person alone, you ghost them and crap. It's like, it might not be this extreme, but you know that in the other side, they're getting hurt too you're hurting them and most likely you don't give a care because you ghost people and it's like i'm sorry for preaching but this is the preaching moment where it's like you see it can get worse too where it's like like for instance one good one is stan the song from eminem it's like you see taking too long to actually talk to someone it could actually end to where a person just ends his life. Not to mention, he had his wife and his son, the baby, baby inside the mom too. He killed them. He killed all three of them. He killed himself. And he just needed to be out there and just get a handout. 
And yet here it is. It's like, I know he was busy, but I know it's a stream, but I'm just saying the end result can be catastrophic. If you actually ghost or leave a person alone or ignore them. And that's the sad thing about today is that many people don't give a care. And it's like, my goodness, you see, and the only way how you really actually care is if it actually is hurting you and is in your face and it shouldn't be like that. But here we are, here we are with this. And she's not even alive to see what happens when she makes her own demons. But it's like, yeah, that's messed up. And like Steven said, he has to clean up his own mom's mess. And of course, she reverted back. So it's reverted back she actually was willing to help him it's like oh thank goodness and as soon as he did that she actually stopped it thank goodness and then well it turns out that she actually thought she was being used so she did it again so she restarted it and it made it even worse and well now they have to save people so people have to be saved meanwhile steven's gonna deal with her he has to climb all the way up there by himself people are being saved and sent to the shelters technically to the um the mini planet i mean the mini city city that they made over there with the gems so yeah it's kind of crazy where it's like huh so that's exactly what's going on here and if he got up there and then she actually almost threw him down actually she punched him he was bleeding he was able to thank goodness still stay up there and he climbed back up actually no he climbed back up she pulls him she hands him down and she's about to drop him and it's like oh good lord but of course he actually realized that no no all this time my power to piss missing piece for me oh yeah beside oh yeah i forgot to mention that garnet actually got herself back yeah it's like during this whole entire fight and everything during the transition to them go save people garnet actually got herself back together and then they had some good fighting and then there we go we're back up here so it's crazy man i mean Eventually, he found out that he changed himself, and that's what the missing piece of his was. And now his magic, his powers work again. And now it's basically a fight on fight. Yep, a good freaking defensive fight. And he's trying to actually get through to her. And well, she's just eventually she just starts to crack, and it's now to the point of where she's like, "I just wanted to be a good friend. I have no idea how I got here in the first place." So <laughs> by accident, she destroyed the whole entire machine. And well, there we go. The only messed up part is that there is poison all over this whole entire city and on this one speck of planet Earth. Now, the thing is, is that, yes, he kisses the ground like three times. And yes, everyone came to see that if he's OK and all and he saved um, Spinel from getting killed because, well, the blast happened. So he so it so the diamonds is like the diamonds came down. They're like, oh, we're going to live with you. And he's like, and he's trying not to judge and everything. But then it's like, hey, remember Spinel? So Spinel got a place where she belongs. It's like, finally, she will be beloved the way she should have been. Meanwhile, the messed up question of my point is that, but the poison stuff, it's like, so since the machine is destroyed, does that mean the poison is gone? The poison will just disappear? I figured that the poison is still there and you guys need to just extract it. It's like, yeah, so that's the real point on me where I'm like, I'm a little bit lost here. But other than that, apparently now we're back to a good, happy ending and they dance and sing and the end. It's a good ending. It's a good ending for Steven Universe. I actually like it. And sorry, but Spinel is my favorite character now. All her moments was so funny. I really hope that she gets an action figure, but I'm pretty sure the only toys that Steven Universe ever did was kind of mega blockish or something. So it's like, I would like to just have an action figure of her. Maybe even if it's a figurine, I would like it because she was so funny and cute in original form. And then, well, <laughs> later on, she actually had some good, funny moments, even though it's serious, it's funny. And that's the sucky part about Kamen Rider Zero One. It's like, oh yeah, he's a comedian. There's some funny moments here. And then it's like, well, it was pretty dry. I'm sorry, but it's pretty dry. And why in the world do you think you want to mix comedy with action? Now, 
what happened here they did it and it actually matched perfectly like as if the joker or even well not really cletus cassidy i'm just saying the joker or evil mickey mouse it's like they did it awesomely you guys need work you guys need to work on what you're doing here so it's cool the only messed up part is just that again did you guys do selected theaters or something or it's just hey we're gonna do this at comic-con but we didn't tell people that much it's like okay okay i don't get it so it's like you can't screw the fans over like this but thank goodness you showed it on tv but still though and oh good lord please tell me that okay hopefully it's still playing and i'm not screwed over so anyways yeah so they have some shorts that i need to watch now and i paused it for so long well anyways gotta go but still watch don't watch yeah definitely watch the movie movie's funny especially um spinel spinel is a great character she did a marathon on all the other characters she's my favorite character